What's up everyone, Matt Camel to 5 here, bringing you Abbeville Online. Now, uh, I'm doing sort of like a little like series of like exploring what I missed in the past two years since I couldn't, I didn't have a tablet. Last time I talked about the quest uh, system and areas. And today I'm going to talk about the new added class that uh, you can start with. Uh, so before you used to start with a few classes, one of them was the warrior, then the uh, ranger, then the uh, rogue, magician, cr uh, creator, and the acolyte. Now there's another one called the wanderer, which I actually have right now. Uh, let me just actually get this green support, but races 30 Wow, that's nice. Cool. I also got a gem. Let me take a take a first spin. Hi, salami. Oh, that's pet food. Okay. Yes. All right. So I got some stuff, and uh, yeah. So uh, as you can see, I'm a wonder. I still haven't picked up any avatars to look actually pretty awesome, but I'm still working on that. And uh, the main thing about being a wonder is that their main sort of like weapons are pretty much uh, one-handed spears and two-handed spears. Now. I'm pretty sure the one-handed spears you can actually dual wield, so if you have two of them, you can wield them in both hands. Then you got your two-hand spear, which is what I'm wielding right now. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, this class sort of acts as a support and also like an attack class. It has its actually attack uh, skills, such as the three that I have right now, one of them being like a thrust attack. It also serves as a charge attack that you can actually... Uh, sort of charge to like a level 3 and then just release and BAM do more damage it also has a like a dash side swipe kind of move where like I dash twice while swinging at the same time and I'm gonna show you right now it's whoosh, whoosh, that's awesome I, I love doing the special effects I don't know why and then the last one is that it does like a horizontal swipe and then an attack from the, from above uh, like this and uh, I think it actually comes in, in handy pretty good. Uh, also, the the second move, the the two dash ones, the side swipe. Uh, I think it's actually. Oh, I got some some low battery. Um, hold on. Alright, so uh, I think the moves, I forget the names uh, of what it's actually called, let me actually check them out right here. Uh, the one's called Upper Blade, uh, attack skill that slash up and then down using the gravity. Um, uh, I actually got it to level 6 and then I had to pick through like 3 types. Um, and uh, I picked type C which is power type, power type with increased damage when slashing down. So it should come in handy when I'm by myself trying to kill stuff. Um, I also have the drive size, that's what the, the, the uh, two uh, horizontal slashes are. Uh, moving attack skill that draws V-shaped trajectories. Uh, that's actually pretty good also for when you're fighting groups of enemies because when you, when you swipe, swipe like that, you can actually catch uh, other enemies that are like around. Uh, and I also have the charge fencer, which is uh, skill only for spears. Um... It unleashes a thrust uh, frontwards after charging. Can be charged by holding the skill button, which I showed you guys earlier. Um, it also the the get the unique thing about this uh, class is that it also sort of. Um, oh, by the way, uh, other than the uh, one hand spear and the two hand spear, this class can also use daggers, one hand swords, and blunt weapons. Uh, but I think what they want you to use is actually like spears. Uh, so, the unique thing about this class is that it also has uh, some uh, support uh, moves. And by that I mean, like, for example, this one right here is called the Flame of Peace. What it ends up doing is that it creates a bonfire that warms surroundings, increases natural healing speed of allies, and then the user gains an increase in SP healing speed on top of that. So, 
what ends up happening is that if you're out in a party and then everybody needs some health, we don't have anything, I can just throw this and have everyone just stand around or sit down and it actually increases the health recovery speed uh, really good, actually. You can actually get a lot of health, but it only lasts for like a few seconds, uh, probably like about 10. Uh, I guess that's, yeah, like that, I just left. Uh, and then we also have another one that is meant for uh, SP, but I still haven't unlocked it yet because uh, I don't really use that much at X, uh, SP, uh, which is this one. It's Mind Sphere. Uh, creates SP Healing Sphere by decreasing your maximum SP for a period of time. Heal SP of allies who touch the sphere. Uh, so it's sort of like a double-edged sword to me because uh, it decreases uh, our maximum SP for a period of time. Uh, for the heal. Uh, last but not least, we also have a buff here. It's called the buffs, uh, the stun proof buff skill, which increases resistance against stunning for a set time, which is actually pretty good. I should actually get that. Uh, I think there's actually a passive one. Oh uh, no, it's actually it's actually inactive. I actually have to activate it. Put it on my on my hotkey and activate it. And then of course we got our little passive ones where this one inc increases max SP, this one increases mass SP, and then this one increases the weight by 10 of the item bag in case you keep uh, getting more heavy items. Wow, what is going on over there? That's nice. So, uh, that's pretty much it for this class. I'm still wondering what else I can actually I can actually uh, do but in the meantime I'm actually gonna show you what I what I'm actually doing on combat so let me actually check out my quest list and then I'm gonna head over to to um, to the world so I'll see you guys in the floor that I'm actually going to see ya Alright, so I'm back, and uh, I'm back, I'm actually teleported to the floor where I'm actually supposed to do my quest right now. Um, like I mentioned in my quest video, uh, they added quests now, so in order to progress forward in the floors, you have to do the quest uh, so that they can open up. Uh, so right now I'm doing one uh, for this floor, uh, and uh, I can actually just wait 10 minutes, or I can actually just start the quest right now, which I'm going to. What I have to do is just defeat uh, a few enemies. So let's do this. Uh, they're actually, they're actually. Oh my god! I think I have to beat that. They're actually. Oh, I gotta beat one of those. Holy crap! So I actually have to beat one of the area boss right now. So let me try to get their mobs right here out of the way, so I don't have any problems. So I'm going to charge my, my thrust to show you how much damage I can do. 337, that's pretty good. Actually, like that was like pretty much like almost a quarter of, of itself. There we go. Now I'm experiencing a bit of lag, but I actually got them. I don't know why I'm experiencing lag. I think that's just like a game server thing because like I checked my... My freaking my speed test for my internet is actually really really high at the moment, so I don't know why I keep lagging. I think that's just like a server thing. Um, I'm trying to take all these dudes out so I could just concentrate on killing that giant thing over there. As soon as I, I beat these guys, I'm actually going to try not to aggro the dude over there. I'm going to show you guys what the bonfire does as soon as I get these guys out of the way. Oh, I think I aggroed the, uh, the bubble guy. Alright, so I'm going to run over here, and I'm going to play as my bonfire, and I'm actually going to sit down. And look at my health regenerate. 
That's that's pretty good. Because I know that red nuts and like healing potions go really really fast. They can be very valuable. So that's it. So I got like just a little bit of health, but I'm hoping to actually get some more later. I can't just sit down. I need to fight. Fight. All right. So I guess I'm fighting the crab for or the lobster. I don't really want to, but we're going to have to. Oh my god, I got hit. Luckily, they sort of toned them down for like these type of quests. It's not like the area bosses. Oh, let me escape, because uh, I need some health. I need some health. Before it shows up, let me actually get item bag. I need to put these in my inventory. Oh shit, he's, he's coming close to me, he's coming close to me. Oh my god, I can't believe it. This is turning out to be a real pain in the ass right now. Oh, what the fuck? This is why I hate crab enemies. They do this shit in Dark Souls 3 and I hate that. So in Dark Souls 3 they added a big like crab monster that just hangs out. And I'm actually getting killed right now, let me just... Back up, run away. I only have like 25 friggin' health. Just go back to where you came from while I heal up. There we go. Let me also add uh, some of these health potions to my inventory. Do I have any of the large ones? No, I only have the small ones. So. I'm gonna have to just do with that. Let me. I have 30 of them. Let me just put them in a shortcut. Uh, on nine. Confirm. Yes. Awesome. All right. Let me just use it. Item used. Item used. Item used. Wow, it's actually like just faster if I just use the potion. Cause if you sit down, you gotta wait like what uh, five minutes to get most of your health back. So, it's pretty inconvenient. So here we go with the crab again. Oh, he got his health back. No, 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 he didn't. No, he didn't. Ah, damn, that got me by surprise. Trying to... Get him with normal attacks too. Trying to avoid... Try to avoid his like weird bubble attack. Let me get some health. Come on, come on, give me my health. Give me my health. There we go. Oh, there we. Oh, I got an achievement done. The potion Leica. There we go. Let me do my charge thrust attack. Hopefully, I can get him. Yeah. That was that bubble attack that he does. That's like a front AOE. Everybody has to move. Oh, wow. I avoided that. That was a pretty good dodge. Come on. You're almost dead. Just freaking die. Yeah. Screw you, man. All right. So I got the sister. Let me just uh, heal up so I can take care of business on the mob side of the defense. Because I got to kill everyone. So, these guys are not that bad. So, I'm going to take care of them now. There we go. One down, two down. And then here's the last guy. And done. In five minutes, you will exit the map automatically. So, this is actually, or I can actually just go through the portal. So, uh, yeah. So, that's uh, the Wonder class in action. Uh, I'm kind of trying to get used to, because, you know, back in the day, I used to be the ranger. I used to just stay behind and just do everything. So, I never actually got a chance to figure out what the advanced classes for those are. So... 
for now I'm trying to get used to how to sort of navigate and be like a close combat guy uh, I'm, I seem to be doing okay I just need to get used to dodging more uh, so yeah I uh, hope that you guys like this little quick intro uh, video of the Wanderer class I know that this class came already a while ago and a lot of people know about it already but uh, I just thought that it should be you know discussed for uh, new players that want to try this game and uh, yeah I'm gonna keep continuing on on my adventure uh, I still gotta go and explore what the uh, technical uh, what is what the hell is that I gotta go do dungeons I'm excited and mission reception I need to figure out what that is but for now I'll leave you guys with this tiny video and some action of me killing the Sistar with the Wanderer class uh, hopefully pretty soon I get to to level what is it level 50 or something to get the advanced classes to finally do a video about that because that's I've been waiting a long time for that I also want a pet I really want a pet so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video